Ross, another year. Boy, oh boy, does it ever look remarkable out here. Thank you very much, Steve. You've done a lot of changes out here. I guess for the people sitting at home right now, they're going to be watching this. What major changes have you made to the diamond? Uh, as far as major changes go for this year, we uh, improved our irrigation system quite a bit. We added some zones out there. We had some issues with coverage as far as water goes. Um, everybody that experienced this May, we only had 1.6 milliliters of water in the whole month of May and broke a lot of records. So uh, it's pretty vital that our irrigation is on point out there. You were telling me last year that when you came in and you approached them to do some changes, there was maybe a little bit of skepticism that they didn't know whether it would be good or bad, but uh, obviously they embraced it and the players love the diamond. Yeah, no, it's it's been really good, and since we had so much success last year, um, I've kind of been given a little bit more uh, leeway as far as decisions I make on the field, and our management has been extremely uh, supportive, and it's been, it's been a really good place to be. Were you approached at all in the offseason to take your talents elsewhere? Uh, I probably wouldn't comment on that, but uh, no, I, this is the place I want to be. I, I just was lucky enough, uh, my fiance and I had our first daughter uh, right after the season ended, so she's about eight months old, so I don't see myself going anywhere soon. So you had two championships, one with here and uh, one with the little baby? Yeah, no, it's been, it's been good. I'm tired, but it, it's, it's good. Just the ultimate question, I mean, I know, George knows, Kiyomi doesn't yet. How has having a, a youngster at home changed your life? Uh, it makes me uh, think about everything a lot more, that's for sure. Yeah, no, uh, there's a lot less uh, going out on weekends and a lot more staying in and feeding the kid. But uh, no, it's great. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Changed a lot of diapers? A few, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but you're spoiled because now you get the throwaway ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's, it's, been, it's been a good experience. My wife is, uh, is, is an amazing woman and, um, and she's, done, she's done a lot. Yeah, as a lot of people know, this job can be taxing as far as hours go. And uh, she's very supportive and wouldn't be able to do it without her. A lot of new returning players, some returning, some new players this year. Have you had a chance to meet all of them yet? No, I, was, I got to meet our new coach, Dalek McPherson, this morning. And he seems like a, a great guy. And, um, he's invigorated and ready to go. And I told him that uh, I expect to repeat this year. And he said, no pressure. So He didn't walk out and start kicking the mound at all and give you a rough time. Eh? Oh, no. He, uh, you know me well enough that I don't have a problem talking to those people. <laughs> Not at all. Well, uh, we talk about the staff. I'm assuming they're still going to have the dancing staff again this year like they have the last year, which draws my wife and all her girlfriends out here. Yeah. No, absolutely. We got three new grounds crew this year. Um, guys last year loved being here, but the, being from out of the country and stuff like that, they had some issues getting back. But uh, we got three guys that are uh, they're really ready to go, and they've been practicing since about early May, so you can expect a good show. Good deal. All right. Well, if I got any requests, I'll give them to you early. Thanks, Steve. All right. I know you've got to go, so we'll let you run because you've got stuff to do on the diamond. So thanks a lot, Ross, and have a good season again. We'll chat to you off and on. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Ross. Appreciate Cheers. it.